Hello, Chaz. It's Mike here calling you from U.S. Golf Schools. A um, couple things I want to talk to you about in your swing here. Hope everything's going good for you. Um, let's go to the one on the right, the picture on the right. You can see uh, grip is looking pretty good. A little bit weak with the left hand. Make sure that left hand's over. See about two knuckles in that left hand. Get that left hand over just a touch. What I don't want to see is how your left arm is completely broke down at setup and your right arm is straight. Let's try to get that left arm a little straighter. I think you had a problem with your left arm. You said it was sore. I, if I quite remember that, you had maybe an issue with, with your left elbow, your left arm. In either case, just try to get it straighter at setup. Uh, not a huge deal. Um, ball position's looking good as you swing back. The only thing I'm seeing in your backswing is how your hips are kind of sliding this way. And your shoulders are kind of staying over here a little bit. Try to keep your hips closer to the target than your left shoulder when you swing back. In other words, don't let your hips slide this way. It's bo your borderline swaying off the ball at this point. You're not swaying, but we like to keep you more weight inside the right thigh there. And let the left shoulder get back here a little bit more. So by keeping this over here a little bit better. Sure, it's going to shift in the backswing a bit, but the shoulders will turn a lot greater now. Here's the big thing I'm saying, Chaz. Remember, in the backswing, looking pretty good as far as the plane, as far as the blade. The blade's square. You're right. You're looking good. At the top, that right elbow gets way up in the air. And what's, what's going to happen is you can see how this elbow is a lot higher than this one. The right elbow is a lot higher than the left. They should be pretty even right there, believe it or not. If they're even there, it's easier to attack it from the inside. Now, what's happening on your downswing is the club is getting thrown way across. You can see the lines we drew on the screen. Your handle should be coming straight this way, down and underneath and around, to where your handle is coming way out here. And what's happening is you're getting very steep and across your shot. Well, what happens when you do that, Chaz, is you start you start side swiping. I remember you hit it far, too. Can you imagine how far you hit it if you get that club working a little more inside on the downswing? Just stick a shaft in the ground. Mirror imaging your setup. In other words, get somebody... A broken shaft, any kind of thing you can stick in the ground, mirror imaging your shaft plane as you set up, and then try to swing underneath that shaft when you come down. And that'll help you. I think I gave you the back to the target drill too. Remember, stick your back to the target, hit some shots, just turn your body around to where your back is facing the target and swing it out. I remember giving you that drill. So everything is looking good except those few things. I'm just seeing a lot of outside downswing here, way steep and across it. We need that handle to come back on the inside. Feel like you're swinging away from your body, drop it inside, throw it out to first base, get really soft with your hands, tee it up high, use like a fairway wood or whatever, tee it up high and just swing, or even a 7-iron, probably even better at this point. Tee it up really high, swing slow, full swings, up 50%, and just work on getting that club inside and sweeping it. Drop it inside, swing it out to the right. Feel like you're throwing out to that first base. Get that club moving that way and out. Besides that, you're looking good, my friend. Uh, keep in touch with us. Let us know how you do. And uh, send me a picture from time to time. We'll critique it, send it back to you. We'll keep in track, keep in touch. And again, thanks again for coming. Hope to see you again soon, Chaz. Have a wonderful day.